in the next question we are asked to calculate the height of the building okay in this case we are doing the Eiffel Tower just in our little sketch here and we are asked to calculate what is this height in other words Delta X the change in displacement okay so with everything that we do know we know initial velocity is equal to zero we know that final velocity is equal to 29,4 meters per second change in time is equal to zero uh, not zero three seconds and uh, displacement is what we are trying to calculate it's what we don't know but acceleration we know is 9,8 so we can use any formula that contains all um, any of the three values that we do know however it must also contain x the one thing I'm going to add again is that since we've calculated this one in the previous step let's rather not use it for the uh, possibility that we might have made a mistake so re let's rather you look for vi delta t delta x and a and I think this one should work just fine there we have delta x vi delta t and a using that formula to do my substitution I get that delta x is equal to initial velocity times time plus 1 over 2 a delta t substituting in we know initial velocity was 0 since it was dropped so that part will in any way just be vanquished by the 0 9 comma 8 meters per second and 3 sorry there's a square that I almost always forget I hope you don't so in solving this this part will be 0 a half times 9.8 is 4 comma 9 times 9 so I'm just going to do that using my calculator so we have 4.9 times 9 okay how did I get the 9 that's 3 squared I could do that in my head okay so 44 comma 1 meters only meters that's how high this tower is and that is therefore not the Eiffel Tower since the Eiffel Tower is a whopping 320 meters high okay whoa okay so this is not the Eiffel Tower 